I want to hopefully keep this keep this brief. I want to talk briefly on the relationship or the lack of relationship that many men, especially in the so-called black community, um, have with their children. You know, there's in many cases there's no bond. The child may know the father, know who the father is. Uh, the father may know who their children are, but there's no bond. And I want to speak briefly on that because I strongly urge men that don't have a bond with their children, especially if you have children that's around the ages of um, seven, eight, nine, and you notice that your child does not want to spend time with you. And a lot of men are hurt and take that personal. And in most cases, they think that the woman or the mother is feeding the child's mind with negativity about them. When in many cases, not all, but in many cases, it's because you never bonded with the child from an infant. You know, from a child, you've never really bond with your child. You never really developed a relationship with your child. And maybe it's because of the fact that you were afraid of failure, that you didn't know how to be a father, that you didn't know what to do uh, to help raise your child. And then and in many cases, you just have some deadbeats out there, you know, for whatever reason. Doesn't matter if the woman chase your way, would not allow you to see your child. And there's a lot of females that's doing a lot of injustice to their children by not allowing the child to have a relationship with their father. Whether or not this guy is paying child support or not, does not give you the right to take the father out of that child's life. In the end, the child end up suffering. Yes, you may take this man back and forth to court. The court may order or force this man to pay child support, pay a couple of measly dollars. This dude may quit his job to quit uh, to keep from supporting his child. But at the end of the day, in spite of the war and the battle that you have between that man and you, has nothing to do with the child. It's personal between you and the man or for you men out there, between you and that child's mother, the child end up being the pawn in the middle. So there's a lot of children that grow up without even having a relationship or a bond with the father. Now, in my humble opinion, I think the reason is, is because of the fact that you weren't there in the early stages of that child's life. When that child's an infant, you never bonded with that child. You didn't change that child's diaper. You didn't feed that child. You didn't hold that child and love that child. And then when the child reaches an age of like maybe five, six, seven, eight, school age, now you want to come in and try to be the father because the biggest responsibility is now gone. The moms deal with, dealt with that or the grandparents dealt with that. And it's not just men that have not developed a bond with their children. There's a lot of females out there that never really developed a bond with the child because the child was raised by the grandparents. So then when that child again reaches that age where they can basically do for themselves, they can wash themselves, they can dress themselves, they can feed themselves. Now here come the mother or the father want to play parent or adult. And then when the child don't want to go with you, don't want to stay with you, then now you're hurt to your heart and can't understand why. And you think because of the fact that you gave birth to that child, you think because of the fact that you're the mother or you're the father, you have special rights. You neglected that child from an infant up. The grandmother was the one that held that baby, fed that baby, had that baby on her chest while you decided to continue to live your youthful life. You wanted to go out and party and hang with your friends. You didn't want to be tied down. 
So now that this child is school aged and technically really not paying you no mind, now here you come saying that you want to buy her things or him things. And, you know, you think you can buy these kids, man. You get them up get them a PlayStation or you get them a cell phone or an iPad and they're supposed to just fall in your arms, but it doesn't work that way. There's no bond. There's no relationship. So when that child reaches teenage uh, or, or school age years, they don't want them to do with you. They don't want to go with you. They may hang out with you for a while, but they don't want to live with you because there was never a bond. You never bonded with that child. You were never really that child's parent. So now you expect that child to just listen to you. And now you want to come in and give orders to this child. And the child ain't listening to you. You wonder why your your kid talked back to you. You wonder why your child disrespects you. Because you were never really there for them in the first place. That bond starts from an infant stage. From the moment that child comes out of the womb. And even before for mothers. That's where that bonding starts. So when that child reaches an age where they can do for themselves, now here you come, they don't want nothing to do with you because they want to be with their friends. Uh, They want to stay at their grandparents' house. They want to stay inside on their iPhones or their, their iPads or whatever it is they have. They want to watch TV. They're not interested in you no more because you were never interested in them. There was never really a relationship or bond from the early years. So now you think you can come in when they're eight and nine years old and expect them to want to come and live with you. Doesn't work that way. So you have to develop that relationship from a very young age. A child has to feel safe. I'll repeat that. A child has to feel safe. Just being a mother or just being a father does not mean that that child is safe, does not make that child safe. See, children see the same thing you see. You may think because they're young, they don't know better, but there's a lot of mature children out there. They may not be able to express themselves, but they see what mom and dad is doing. They can sense that mom is not loving them or dad is not loving them, that dad want nothing to do with them, or mom is too busy with men. So these children see that. So in many cases, these children, they start looking to other things to take their mind off the fact that they're not being loved, that they're feeling insecure, they're not, they're not feeling safe. So they're going to feel safe in the place that they grew up in. They feel that love from the grandparents. They know that there's food in the house. They know that they're going to be clothed. They know that they're going to be taken care of. You as an adult, would you leave that kind of environment for some place that's unstable? See, many of these so-called mothers and fathers are unstable in their own lives. And you just expect your child to just fall in your arms because you gave birth to them. But you have to love them from the womb. They have to grow up feeling safe with you, knowing that when they step out of the house, no one can harm them. See? So if you have a child that want nothing to do with you, it's because you never had a bond with them. You never developed a relationship with that child. 